you. Hawaii's economy is growing and will see steady growth for several years. That's according to leading economists on the State Council of Revenues. We just started what is probably going to be an expansion that, if things play out the way we're expecting, has reasonably good legs on it. Individuals are struggling, families are struggling, and I certainly know small businesses are struggling. So I don't share as much of the optimism that, that was here. The economic forecasts have not changed, so there's no need for a special legislative session to rewrite the state budget. And for more on this week's Council on Revenues meeting, we go to the uh, executive director of You Hero, Dr. Carl Bonham. He's also on the Council on Revenues. D Dr. Bonham, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. So the forecast remains unchanged for this fiscal year, and uh, that was good news for lawmakers who were expecting to come back for a special session, right? That's right. We, the council decided that really there wasn't enough new information, there weren't enough new things that had changed, new information coming in that would cause us to change the forecast. And that's good news in the sense that it doesn't create a lot of havoc and you don't create a new, another special session. But on the other hand, you know, it's, it's kind of muted good news. Mm -hmm. We're still talking about a forecast that was lowered in, during March and it's some $350 million below the peak of revenues. What about those Japanese tourists? Uh, you know, after the March 11th tsunami, people had dire predictions about Japanese tourists plummeting, uh, throwing us back into a recession. Uh, the tourists have not come as many as many tourists have come as predicted, though, right? Well, the the some of the forecasts that initially came out, or some of the the worries that initially came out, were were fairly dire, and. The Japanese tourists have have uh, not returned. Right, we're still down for the month of May. The passenger counts from Japan were down over 20 percent, and for the year as a whole, are down about 10 percent. But other visitors have stepped up, and the visitor industry will continue to to grow this year. Mm -hmm. That's been the outlook. And really, the, what the council was looking at was that there's a fair amount of good news. The gas prices retrenching. Uh, the overall visitor, visitor industry is still doing well, and the Japanese situation not being as bad as what, what some people thought. And what's the economic look, at, uh, look like for next year, though? Well, it's, it's interesting, again, because the, the forecast for the current fiscal year that ends at the end of June was down 1.6%. For next year, the forecast has a positive 11% growth, and that probably surprises some people. It seems like a, a, a real radical jump in, in growth, but really what that... Part of what that represents is the shifting of refunds that happened under the previous administration. We see the benefit, if you will, of that in this next fiscal year. It's kind of a bounce back from that, and most of that will happen in July. We'll see some huge growth in July. And we're seeing something interesting with the Council on Revenues. Uh, all of the members' terms are coming to an end, so what's going to happen now? Well, I, I believe the administration has, so the, the council is appointed by the governor, by the Speaker of the House, and the, and the pres, uh, Senate President. And there's a process that they go through to do those selections, and that's underway. The thing that's interesting or unique about this time is that, for some reason, everybody's expiring at the same time. Uh -huh. and, and I don't, I think they're supposed to be staggered terms. I'm not really sure how this happened, but nobody knows right now what, right. what the situation is. Well, there is an institutional knowledge, so we'll definitely see what's going to happen in the future. Dr. Carl Bonham, thank you so much for joining us thank you. from You Hero every Friday. And don't forget, if you'd like to watch this interview again, you can head over to the morning section of our website, kitv.com slash this morning. Kenny?